everybody it is bright and early and i'm on my way to my hair appointment i'm getting my hair done today i am going to a new salon that i actually just booked yesterday i was supposed to have a hair appointment yesterday and like an hour before my appointment the hairstylist just canceled on me which has never happened before actually it happened one other time she ended up like having a migraine and couldn't get rid of it and then she couldn't get me in before my flight to england so i had to go find somewhere else and luckily i had seen a couple people recommend this salon in orange county i am driving all the way to orange county for this which it's far just trust me it's far but i used to drive like an hour to get my hair done in arizona so i guess it's not like that big of a deal anyways i've got like the laguna beach podcast to listen to but i saw um when i asked on instagram for like hairstylist recommendations a couple people recommended this place and then i've actually seen a couple people i follow on instagram go to this place so i was like okay it's a good salon like they do good work and they just so happened like when i was looking at their instagram yesterday they just so happened to have two slots open up like like last second I think they were like cancellations or something and I was like oh yes so I jumped on that quick I'm gonna get my hair done today it's gonna be a long day but we're gonna get through it I wanted to get there a little early 30 45 minutes before my appointment actually which is perfect because like in case there's traffic or whatever and I want to do my makeup when I get there so anyway that's what's on the docket for today I think I'm also gonna try on my way home to maybe go to Trader Joe's I've just been missing some like Trader Joe's essentials in my life and also there's a a couple things I want to get for Jasmine so you know we can do our like every time we visit candy swap situation and also we're gonna try some like more foods this time instead of just candy so anyway okay I'm blabbing see you in a bit show you my hair but I just got rained on the rain just started like as soon as I left the salon but they were all so so lovely and nice there I can definitely see like some more fall vibes happening here so I'm happy about that like it's definitely more blended and just like a better tone overall um, but I think next time she said we'll definitely go a little bit darker it's just hard because my hair has a hard time grasping onto pigment which I did know from the first time I went red like basically nothing stuck she had to do it twice but yeah it's just like refreshed a little bit it's not as dramatic as I wanted but honestly like that's I need to just relax <laughs> that's how I get myself into trouble with getting my hair done is being like I want to go dark and then having a hard time when I want to go back blonde so still a blondie I picked up some hair products as well they used Oribe which I've used like their purple shampoo and like the dry texture spray before so grabbed some of that stuff and now we're gonna hit the road and hopefully beat traffic back to LA. <laughs> Fingers crossed for me. All right, just made it back into LA. It's a little while later and I'm going into Trader Joe's. I just need it to happen. I have been craving a Trader Joe's day since like July, which was the last time I was at Trader Joe's, I'm pretty sure, like literally July. It's just my happy place. So I actually just put in my AirPods. I've got my Laguna Beach podcast going. I'm gonna put my mask back on and we're just gonna go do some retail therapy at Trader Joe's and I can't freaking wait. <laughs> We're home, we're safe and sound, and I'm gonna show you my Trader Joe's haul. First thing I got are these flowers. I don't think it says, oh, dianthus, mini dianthus flowers. And look how pretty these are. Just like a small little bouquet. Got some cotton candy grapes. These don't look like as green as they've been in past years, but this was the best of the bunch. If you haven't had cotton candy grapes, they're so heavenly. I got like some fall stuff. I also got other staples. I also forgot things, so whatever. I guess I should start with frozen things so we can put those away. So first thing, they have these back again, the mini oh, tacos. Nice. Yeah, got some mini beef tacos. They didn't have chicken this time, but we'll take it. Beef is still good. Not as good, but it's still good. Um, I got some 
molten cake. Have you won it again? No. The other night I was talking to Drew and I was like, I want a lava cake so bad. So we got these. I think we had those on Valentine's Day last year and they were okay. They're not like the best in the world, but that's all right. We got two different kinds of croissants. We got almond croissants for Drew and chocolate croissants for me. So those will be good for like the weekends. And there's four croissants in each of these. So you can like keep them for a while. I got this Cacio e Pepe gnocchi. I'm just gonna try it for, huh? <laughs> if you know the TikTok, then you know. But um, this looks like it would be good for lunch. And if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with the sweet potato gnocchi. It's like one of my favorite meals in life. And I got four bags and I'm not going to apologize. We got two of the frozen jasmine rice. Honestly, this rice slaps. Like it's actually really, really good. And it keeps really well in the freezer and you just microwave it. And it's like you made rice off the stove. To me, it tastes the same. It's like the same texture and everything. And we've tried other frozen rice and it's just not as good. I got a veggie fried rice. This is good for like lunch. I just like throw some stuff in there. Um, I got two butter chickens. For Drew, he likes those for lunch. I got some hash browns, finally. He's gone. <laughs> These are great in the air fryer, honestly, iconic. Um, I got some butternut squash ravioli, because why not? And then I got some Alfredo sauce to go with it. Sure. Like a nice easy lunch or whatever. Um, I got some vanilla ice cream to go with the lava cakes. This was the smallest one they had. I got these pumpkin overnight oats. I thought I would try something pumpkin in fall since I'm like kind of warming up to it a little bit more. I tried the like vanilla or maybe the almond butter chia one and it was okay. But I really like the mush brand because they have chocolate. So I thought maybe pumpkin would be good. So I got that to try. I just saw this very chocolate fudge brownie oat milk ice cream. And that sounded delicious, so I got that. Got some cookie butter, because this, on top of an Eggo waffle, is like the best breakfast you'll ever have in your life. Ooh, this is very fall. I got a non-dairy oat beverage maple flavor. That sounds amazing for like lattes and stuff. They only have this big size though. And since I tried the brown sugar last time, I was like, I'll try maple. And then I got two everything but the bagel seasonings. One of these is going to the UK to Jasmine. And the other one is staying here because I'm almost out. I got these for you. They were at the checkout and they looked good. And it says crispy crunch mochi rice nuggets. Sure. You want to try them? Like I think so. Salt? Is that the flavor? Rice, palm oil, sea salt, sunflower. Left the tin. Mm -hmm. So they're in a band, clearly. Oh, I got these. Oh, nice. oh, Everyone is saying that these Trader Joe's boba kits are actually pretty good and I, it's just the um, like brown sugar flavor. Sorry, it's loud out there. Um, I got my favorite mixed nut butter. I like to pour this on top of yogurt parfaits. It's just really good and like easy to pour. Um, got some salsa verde to go with the mini tacos. Got one of these for Drew. He likes these wafer chocolates and this one's peanut butter. Oh, yeah. I don't... You, you haven't had the peanut butter one. You no. just had the plain chocolate. So I got that for you. And then they had the... Sour one. Scandinavian yeah. We've only tried the regular ones and the texture was 10 out of 10. The flavor was meh. So we were hoping that maybe the sour ones. Great. Great candy, so. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Swedish They're fish. They're great. Someone also had put these in the freezer on TikTok, so I might try some of those. But yeah, that's my TJ's haul. It was like $120 things that did I need? No. But did I want? Yes. Are we gonna eat them? Yes. Obviously. Do you wanna try something? Uh, yeah, let me check my let me put the cold stuff away and then we'll do like a couple taste tests. This angle is fantastic. Okay. You see? <laughs> he started opening it and I was like, wait for me. Don't you know I have a YouTube channel? Yeah, they're cute. I want that one. You said, oh, sorry. You said it says, <laughs> it says crispy crunchy. Yeah. On the front of it in Japanese. It's got a comment. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like a, a puffed, like simbe cracker, like a rice cracker. Yeah, it's alright. I give it like a 6 out of 10. I'm gonna try one of these. Which one do you want? Do you want pink or blue? Or is it red? What? Or like purple? What? Those are the same color. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is blue, this is pink. Shut up. I swear, so which one do you want? The darker one. It's like red? cherry. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Better than the ones without the sour. They're chewier than regular Swedish fish. Yeah, these are good. These get like a nine. It is also going to rain here. Maybe. Possibly. 
the wind is like blowing around in the background and stuff and it's so funny because people in i'm not generalizing everyone who lives in la or southern california but it was so funny because it started to like rain a little bit when i was at the salon and everyone was like freaking out about it it's just so funny how like people from sunny states like in arizona when it rains every single person you follow on instagram is posting a story of the rain everyone's running outside kids are like jumping in puddles in the streets i remember as a kid when it would rain it was like yeah it was like the most exciting thing ever and it's just so funny like in climates where it rains all the time. Like in Tennessee, I never got excited when it rained because it rained like a lot. <laughs> but when you live somewhere where it's sunny all the time, surprisingly rain is like a very welcomed thing, at least for me. And I know Drew's the same way and like all of our friends in Arizona and stuff. So it's just kind of funny. Like we're getting all like super excited about this rain that's coming in. <laughs> and Drew's like, I hope you get home before the rain starts. And like the girls at the salon were like, I hope you make it home before it rains. <laughs> like as if it's like the worst thing. Cause these California drivers do not know how to drive in the rain and neither do Arizona. <laughs> yeah, neither do Arizona. Mm -mm. I think because it feels like it's the beginning of fall, even though it's not, I'm like forcing it to happen. It was 96 degrees today. Um, I think I'm gonna make these pumpkin bars that I saw on TikTok and there's not like a real recipe. I think you just like throw everything in a bowl and then bake them. So I think we might try those in, <laughs> in a bit. But we're gonna make these bars that I saw on TikTok. I don't even know what the TikTok is. I literally just screenshotted the recipe. They looked really good. So we're gonna need two cups of rolled oats. Boy, do we have enough. <laughs> that was one of the reasons I wanted to do this recipe because I bought this huge thing and I'm just simply never gonna eat it all. So we're gonna do two cups of rolled oats. One, two, that barely made a dent in this. Okay. Next, we're gonna use two mashed bananas. So my bananas aren't that ripe. I can't even see what I'm doing. We're just gonna do what we can, you know, whatever. It's not about perfection here. So we're gonna mash these two bananas. Mosh banana, mash banana. What was that from? Mosh banana, mash banana. Oh, the Wiggles maybe? I don't know oh, I didn't watch the Wiggles. I was too <laughs> My brother watched them. She doesn't have a brother. There are three. <laughs> Ooh, that sound. Sounds like Layla. Yeah, it does. Sounds like Layla when she's licking her feet. I can eat eggs Um, two eggs. Two mashed bananas. Then two eggs. Thank you, sous chef. I wish I could be one of those cool kids. It's like open in one. Let's put that in practice. Half a cup of pumpkin puree, which we had for when Layla had a tummy ache. Oh, we can do the rest of the food. Yeah. Put the rest in her food or something. She'll love that. Why is canned pumpkin so repulsive to me? It smells like baby food. I think that's why. Like my years of feeding my younger siblings baby food and then also like nannying. It reminds me of just making pumpkin pie with my grandma. Oh, so. that's cute. That's a better memory. <laughs> then we have three tablespoons of coconut sugar, which was expensive by the way. I don't I actually, coconut sugar. I don't know. I don't think I know the difference, but it doesn't smell like coconut. Drew is the coconut police in every dish. Supposedly, I think it's like healthier, but I mean, isn't sugar just sugar? I don't like it. Okay. Should I just use regular sugar then? <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. It's weird. It's weird. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go with by the recipe. Three tablespoons. Ooh, it looks weird. It looks like wood. Okay. Chocolate chips. It just says chocolate chips and mix. No, oh. No vanilla? Wait, hold on. I'm skipping ahead. Hold up. Pumpkin pie spice. That doesn't sound like you, not following the recipe. Wait, do we have cinnamon? No. <gasps> Isn't there cinnamon in this? Yes. So I mean, whatever. One teaspoon pumpkin spice. Maybe have a little bit extra? Yeah. Splash of vanilla, I can do that. I don't want you to do that. How much is a splash like this? Was <laughs> yeah, that too much? A heavy splash. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. That should be good. Oh, I need half a cup of almond butter. Okay. Butter, check, and then it just says chocolate chips. So I suppose it's like, you know, choice. yeah, however many you want. Here's what she's looking like. It's kind of bleak, but um, it looks like a brown mess. It's really like kind of gross, but I think it'll come together. When thinking about how many chocolate chips to add to a recipe, I just say go 
until your soul tells you to stop, you know? You just feel it in your gut. So I'm going. Should I do like a whole bag? <gasps> the whole bag? Hey. It's my pumpkin bar, so I can do whatever I want. Okay. It's not a lot. No, it's really not. Let's see if this all comes together. It looks delicious, I will say. It smells interesting. Um, there's a quite a combination of smells going on. We'll just pretend that um, that didn't happen, okay? I'm trying to get things done and he's just standing there. Things done and I helped you clean up. Yeah, you did, you were great. We're gonna put these in a little baking dish and then we bake it for like 30 minutes, so. We'll see how it turns out. The banana bread that we made mm -hmm. in quarantine turned out really good, so hopefully this one's We made our own flour. Our own oat flour. Here's the dough. So we're gonna bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, she's bubbling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. <laughs> If you are lost in TikTok land, like Drew and myself, there's just everything. Everything is a TikTok. We're gonna cook some dinner and then try these once it's cooled off a little bit, but it looks pretty nice. Honestly, not bad. This has cooled off. I might actually just like be a serial killer and just cut <laughs> like a random piece. Ooh, the chocolate's still melted. Do you wanna try some? Ooh, come on now. That looks really good. I'm actually excited. Okay. It's a big ass piece. There's a lot of chocolate. Maybe I did do too many chocolate chips. It's not bad. What are your thoughts? I don't know how I feel about chocolate and like Pumpkin flavor. Mm. I don't know. I think it's good. I think this will be delicious for like breakfast. I like it. You absolutely don't need coconut sugar for this. No. It's kind of just like a banana bread, but it's really, really good. I give it like a 9.5 out of 10. All right, just got out of a lovely bath. I soaked in there for mm, like two hours. Did my skincare, just took Layla outside, fed her her dinner, and now we're gonna head to bed. So thank you so much for watching this vlog and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.